Hello, we are discussing gate 1995 ECE paper and the topic we are discussing is electronic devices. This is third one more question came in 1995 gate. The breakdown voltage of a transistor with its base open is BVCEO. Breakdown voltage of a transistor with its base open is BVCEO that with emitter open is BVCBO. Then the relation between BVCEO and BVCBO. A. Both are equal. B. BVCEO is greater than BVCBO. C. BVCEO is less than BVCBO. D. BVCEO not related to BVCBO. The correct option for this question is C. BVCEO is less than BVCBO. We will see the details now. We know a transistor can be either NPN or PNP. The arrow shows if the arrow is going upwards, outwards, at that time it is NPN. If the arrow goes downwards, at that time it is PNP transistor. Always arrow implies emitter, opposite of that one is collector terminal and this side is going to be base terminal. So this is NPN and PNP transistor. Whatever the transistor, whether it is NPN or PNP, it can be configured in three cases. Common base, common collector and common emitter. So whenever you are buying a transistor, it has some limitations. The maximum collector current which it can tolerate, the maximum power dissipation which it can tolerate, maximum VCE voltage and some other maximum temperature and all others are going to be some restrictions, limitations of that one. So out of that one, here we are going with PD maximum, maximum power dissipation rating we are going with. A transistor can tolerate up to a maximum power dissipation of PD rated or PD maximum above which the transistor gets breakdown. Remember that one, a transistor is going to be having maximum power dissipation rating and that can be either configured in common base or common collector or common emitter. Whatever the configuration, the maximum power dissipation rating is going to be same. It cannot tolerate more than that power. Keep in mind this one. So now let us assume it has been the transistor with maximum power dissipation as PD maximum is configured in common base. So this is common base and PD maximum can be written in this way. Current into voltage. At this point whatever you are getting the current since it is more power dissipation is going to be taking place across collector base junction. So power dissipation is going to be written in this way, ICBO into VCBO. ICBO is nothing but reverse saturation current flowing from collector to base when emitter is open. At the same time, the maximum voltage is going to be breakdown voltage. Maximum voltage is nothing but which it can tolerate is called as breakdown voltage. The breakdown voltage across collector to base when emitter is open. So PD maximum can be written as ICBO into BVCBO. From this one BVCBO is written as PD maximum by ICBO. If the same transistor with same power dissipation, if it is configured in common emitter with base open, if the base open all the current is going to be flowing from collector to emitter only. By the time PD maximum is equal to ICEO into BVCEO. From this one, BVCEO is nothing but PD maximum by ICEO. So, for both the equations, numerator is same, only the denominator is going to be getting different. And we know that one, ICEO is going to be larger than ICBO. ICEO is 1 plus beta times of ICBO, it is also called as IC0. So, 1 plus beta times of IC0 also you can write for ICEO. So ICEO is larger than ICBO. So numerator is going to be same. Denominator for common emitter is larger. 
so that BVCO is smaller compared to BVCBO. Hence, we can say that when breakdown voltage of common base is greater than breakdown voltage of common emitter. So, the right option for this question is C. Thank you.